In mathematics, a affine algebraic plane curve is the zero set of a polynomial in two variables. A projective algebraic plane curve is the zero set in a projective plane of a homogeneous polynomial in three variables. An affine algebraic plane curve can be completed in a projective algebraic plane curve by homogenizing its defining polynomial. Conversely, a projective algebraic plane curve can be restricted to an affine algebraic plane curve by replacing by one some indeterminate of the defining homogeneous polynomial. As these two operations are each inverse to the other, the phrase algebraic plane curve is often used without specifying explicitly whether it is the affine or the projective case that is considered. More generally, an algebraic curve is an algebraic variety of dimension 1. Equivalently, an algebraic curve is an algebraic variety that is birationally equivalent to an algebraic plane curve. If the curve is contained in an affine space or a projective space, one can take a projection for such a birational equivalence. These birational equivalences allow reducing most of the study of algebraic curves to the study of algebraic plane curve. However some properties are not kept under birational equivalence and must be studied on non-plane curves often called space curves or skew curves. This is, in particular the case of smoothness, since many non-singular algebraic curves are not birationally equivalent to any algebraic plane curve this is the case of all curves of positive genus. In Euclidean geometry An algebraic curve in the Euclidean plane is the set of the points whose coordinates are the solutions of a bivariate polynomial equation p x y equals zero. This equation is often called the implicit equation of the curve, in contrast to the curves that are the graph of a function defining explicitly y as a function of x. With a curve given by such an implicit equation, the first problems are to determine the shape of the curve and to draw it. These problems are not as easy to solve as in the case of the graph of a function, for which y may easily be computed for various values of x. The fact that the defining equation is a polynomial implies that the curve has some structural properties that may help in solving these problems. Every algebraic curve may be uniquely decomposed into a finite number of smooth monotone arcs also called branches, sometimes connected by some points sometimes called remarkable points, and possibly a finite number of isolated points called acnodes. A smooth monotone arc is the graph of a smooth function which is defined and monotone on an open interval of the x-axis. In each direction, an arc is either unbounded usually called an infinite arc or has an end point which is either a singular point this will be defined below or a point with a tangent parallel to one of the coordinate axes. For example, for the Schoenhausen cubic, there are two infinite arcs having the origin 0, 0 as end point. This point is the only singular point of the curve. There are also two arcs having this singular point as one end point and having a second end point with a horizontal tangent. Finally, there are two other arcs each having one of these points with horizontal tangent as the first end point and having the unique point with vertical tangent as the second end point. In contrast, the sinusoid is certainly not an algebraic curve, having an infinite number of monotone arcs. To draw an algebraic curve, it is important to know the remarkable points and their tangents, the infinite branches and their asymptotes if any, and the way in which the arcs connect them. It is also useful to consider the inflection points as remarkable points. When all this information is drawn on a sheet of paper, the shape of the curve usually appears rather clearly. If not, it suffices to add a few other points and their tangents to get a good description of the curve. The methods for computing the remarkable points and their tangents are described below, after the section projective curves. <laughs> Plane projective curves It is often desirable to consider curves in the projective space. 
An algebraic curve in the projective plane or plane projective curve is the set of the points in a projective plane whose projective coordinates are zeros of a homogeneous polynomial in three variables p, x, y, z. Every affine algebraic curve of equation p, x, y, equals zero may be completed into the projective curve of equation h p x y z equals zero. Display style caret h p x y z equals zero, where h p x y z equals z day p p x z y z display style caret h p x y z equals z caret day p p t f r e c x z t f r e c y z is the result of the homogenization of p. Conversely, if p x y z topic zero is the homogeneous equation of a projective curve, then p x y one zero is the equation of an affine curve, which consists of the points of the projective curve whose third projective coordinate is not zero. These two operations are reciprocal one to the other, as h p x y one equals p x y display style caret h p x y one equals p x y, and if p is defined by p x y equals p x y 1 display style p x y equals p x y 1 then h p x y z equals p x y Z display style caret h p x y z equals p x y z. As soon as the homogeneous polynomial p is not divisible by z. For example, the projective curve of equation x two plus y two minus z two is the projective completion of the unit circle of equation x two plus y two minus one equals zero. This implies that an affine curve and its projective completion are the same curve, or, more precisely that the affine curve is a part of the projective curve that is large enough to well define the «complete» curve. This point of view is commonly expressed by calling «points at infinity» of the affine curve the points in finite number of the projective completion that do not belong to the affine part. Projective curves are frequently studied for themselves. They are also useful for the study of affine curves. For example, if p x y is the polynomial defining an affine curve, beside the partial derivatives p x display style p underscore x and p y display style p underscore y, it is useful to consider the derivative at infinity. P infinity x y equals h p z x y one display style p underscore int t x y equals caret h p underscore z x y one for example, the equation of the tangent of the affine curve of equation p x y equals zero at a point a b is x p x a b plus y p 
Y A B plus P infinity A B equals zero. Display style XP underscore X A B plus Y P underscore Y A B plus P underscore inf D A B equals zero. Topic Remarkable points of a plane curve. In this section, we consider a plane algebraic curve defined by a bivariate polynomial P x, y, and its projective completion, defined by the homogenization P x y z equals H P x y z display style p x y z equals caret h p x y z of p topic intersection with a line knowing the points of intersection of a curve with a given line is frequently useful the intersection with the axes of coordinates and the asymptotes are useful to draw the curve. Intersecting with a line parallel to the axes allows one to find at least a point in each branch of the curve. If an efficient route finding algorithm is available, this allows to draw the curve by plotting the intersection point with all the lines parallel to the y axis and passing through each pixel on the x axis. If the polynomial defining the curve has degree d, any line cuts the curve in at most d points. Bazout's theorem asserts that this number is exactly d. If the points are searched in the projective plane over an algebraically closed field, for example the complex numbers, and counted with their multiplicity. The method of computation that follows proves again this theorem, in this simple case. To compute the intersection of the curve defined by the polynomial P with the line of equation ax plus by plus C. Topic zero. One solves the equation of the line for x or for y if a zero. Substituting the result in P, one gets a univariate equation Q y. Topic zero or q x zero. If the equation of the line has been solved in y, each of whose roots is one coordinate of an intersection point, the other coordinate is deduced from the equation of the line. The multiplicity of an intersection point is the multiplicity of the corresponding root. There is an intersection point at infinity if the degree of q is lower than the degree of p. The multiplicity of such an intersection point at infinity is the difference of the degrees of p and q. Topic: <laughs> Tangent at a point. The tangent at a point a b of the curve is the line of equation x minus a P X A B plus Y minus B P Y A B equals zero Display style x a p underscore x a b plus y b p underscore y a b equals zero. Like for every differentiable curve defined by an implicit equation. In the case of polynomials, another formula for the tangent has a simpler constant term and is more symmetric. X p x a b plus Y P Y A B plus P infinity A B equals zero. 
display style xp underscore x a b plus y p underscore y a b plus p underscore in d a b equals zero, where p infinity x y equals p z x y one display style p underscore in t x y equals p underscore z x y one is the derivative at infinity. The equivalence of the two equations results from Euler's homogeneous function theorem applied to p. If p x a b equals p y a b equals zero. Display style p underscore x a b equals p underscore y a b equals zero. The tangent is not defined, and the point is a singular point. This extends immediately to the projective case. The equation of the tangent of at the point of projective coordinates a b c of the projective curve of equation p x y z equals zero is x p x a b c plus y p y a b c plus z p z a b c equals zero Display style xp underscore x a b c plus y p underscore y a b c plus z p underscore z a b c equals zero, and the points of the curves that are singular are the points such that p x a b c equals p y a B C equals P Z A B C equals zero. Display style P underscore X A B C equals P underscore Y A B C equals P underscore Z A B C equals zero. The condition P A B C equals zero is implied by these conditions by Euler's homogeneous function theorem. Equals. Topic asymptotes. Equals. Every infinite branch of an algebraic curve corresponds to a point at infinity on the curve, that is a point of the projective completion of the curve that does not belong to its affine part. The corresponding asymptote is the tangent of the curve at that point. The general formula for a tangent to a projective curve may apply, but it is worth to make it explicit in this case. Let P equals P D plus plus P zero display style P equals P underscore D plus C D O T S plus P underscore zero be the decomposition of the polynomial defining the curve into its homogeneous parts, where P is the sum of the monomials of P of degree I. It follows that P equals H P equals P D plus Z P D minus one plus plus Z D P zero 
Display style P equals carrot H P equals P underscore D plus Z P underscore D one plus C D O T S plus Z carrot D P underscore zero and P Z A B zero equals P D minus one A B Display style P underscore Z A B zero equals P underscore D one A B A point at infinity of the curve is a zero of P of the form A B zero. Equivalently, A B is a zero of P D. A fundamental theorem of algebra implies that, over an algebraically closed field, typically, the field of complex numbers, P D factors into a product of linear factors. Each factor defines a point at infinity on the curve. If bx minus i is such a factor, then it defines the point at infinity a, b, zero. Over the reals, p d factors into linear and quadratic factors. The irreducible quadratic factors define non-real points at infinity, and the real points are given by the linear factors. If a b zero is a point at infinity of the curve, one says that a b is an asymptotic direction. Setting q equals p d, the equation of the corresponding asymptote is x q x a b plus y q y a b plus P D minus one A B equals zero Display style x q underscore x a b plus y q underscore y a b plus P underscore D one A B equals zero if q x a B equals Q Y A B equals zero Display style Q underscore X A B equals Q underscore Y A B equals zero and P D minus one a B does not equal zero. Display style p underscore d one a b n e q zero. The asymptote is the line at infinity, and in the real case, the curve has a branch that looks like a parabola. In this case, one says that the curve has a parabolic branch. If q x a B equals Q Y A B equals P D minus one A B equals zero Display style q underscore x a b equals q underscore y a b equals p underscore d one a b equals zero. The curve has a singular point at infinity and may have several asymptotes. They may be computed by the method of computing the tangent cone of a singular point. Topic: Singular points. The singular points of a curve are degree d defined by a polynomial p x y. A degree d are the solutions of the system of equations p x x y equals p y x y equals p x y equals zero. 
Display style p underscore x x y equals p underscore y x y equals p x y equals zero. In characteristic zero, this system is equivalent to p x x y equals p y x y equals P infinity x y equals zero. Display style p underscore x x y equals p underscore y x y equals p underscore int x y equals zero. Where, with the notation of the preceding section, p infinity x y equals p z x y 1 display style p underscore int x y equals p underscore z x y 1 the systems are equivalent because of euler's homogeneous function theorem a latter system has the advantage of having its third polynomial of degree d1 instead of d Similarly, for a projective curve defined by a homogeneous polynomial p, x, y, z, a degree d, the singular points have the solutions of the system p, x, x, y, z equals p, y, x, y, z equals P Z X Y Z equals zero. Display style P underscore X X Y Z equals P underscore Y X Y Z equals P underscore Z X Y Z equals zero as homogeneous coordinates. In positive characteristic, the equation P x y z display style P x y z has to be added to the system. This implies that the number of singular points is finite as long as P x y or P x y z is square free. Bazout's theorem implies thus that the number of singular points is at most d minus 1, 2, but this bound is not sharp because the system of equations is overdetermined. If reducible polynomials are allowed, the sharp bound is d, d minus 1, 2, this value being reached when the polynomial factors in linear factors, that is if the curve is the union of d lines. For irreducible curves and polynomials, the number of singular points is at most d minus 1, d minus 2, 2, because of the formula expressing the genus in term of the singularities. See below. The maximum is reached by the curves of genus 0 whose all singularities have multiplicity to and distinct tangents. See below. The equation of the tangents at a singular point is given by the non-zero homogeneous part of lowest degree in the Taylor series of the polynomial at the singular point. When one changes the coordinates to put the singular point at the origin, the equation of the tangents at the singular point is thus the non-zero homogeneous part of lowest degree of the polynomial, and the multiplicity of the singular point is the degree of this homogeneous part. Topic. Analytic structure The study of the analytic structure of an algebraic curve in the neighborhood of a singular point provides an accurate information of the topology of singularities. In fact, near a singular point, a real algebraic curve is the union of a finite number of branches that intersect only at the singular point, and look either as a cusp or as a smooth curve. Near a regular point, one of the coordinates of the curve may be expressed as an analytic function of the other coordinate. This is a corollary of the analytic implicit function theorem, and implies that the curve is smooth near the point. 
Near a singular point, the situation is more complicated, and involves Puizu series, which provide analytic parametric equations of the branches. For describing a singularity, it is worth to translate the curve for having the singularity at the origin. This consists of a change of variable of the form x equals x minus a y equals y minus b display style x equals x a y equals y b where a b display style a b are the coordinates of the singular point in the following the singular point under consideration is always supposed to be at the origin the equation of an algebraic curve is f x y equals 0 display style f x y equals 0 where f is a polynomial in x and y this polynomial may be considered as a polynomial in y with coefficients in the algebraically closed field of the Puizu series in x Thus f may be factored in factors of the form y minus p x display style y p x where p is a Puizu series. These factors are all different if f is an irreducible polynomial, because this implies that f is square-free, a property which is independent of the field of coefficients. The Puizu series that occur here have the form p x equals n equals n zero infinity a n x n d Display style p x equals sum underscore n equals n underscore zero carrot in t a underscore n x carrot n d, where d is a positive integer and n zero display style n underscore zero is an integer that may also be supposed to be positive because we consider only the branches of the curve that pass through the origin. Without loss of generality, we may suppose that d is co-prime with the greatest common divisor of the n such that a n does not equal zero. Display style underscore n n e q zero. Otherwise, one could choose a smaller common denominator for the exponents. Let omega d Display style omega underscore d be a primitive dth root of unity. If the above Puizu series occurs in the factorization of f x y equals zero, display style f x y equals zero, then the d series p i x equals n equals n 0 infinity a n omega d i x n d Display style p underscore i x equals sum underscore n equals n underscore zero carrot inf t r underscore n omega underscore d carrot i x carrot n d occur also in the factorization, a consequence of Galois theory. These d series are said conjugate and are considered as a single branch of the curve of ramification index d. In the case of a real curve, that is a curve defined by a polynomial with real coefficients, three cases may occur. If none p i x display style p underscore i x has real coefficients, then one has a non-real branch. 
if some p i x display style p underscore i x has real coefficients, then one may choose it as p zero x display style p underscore zero x. If d is odd, then every real value of x provides a real value of p zero x display style p underscore zero x and one has a real branch that looks regular, although it is singular if d greater than one. If d is even, then p zero x display style p underscore zero x and p d two x display style p underscore d two x have real values, but only for x0. In this case, the real branch looks as a cusp, or is a cusp, depending of the definition of a cusp that is used. For example, the ordinary cusp has only one branch. If it is defined by the equation y 2 minus x 3 equals 0 Display style y caret two x caret three equals zero. Then the factorization is y minus x three two y plus x three two. Display style y x caret three halves y plus x caret three halves. The ramification index is 2, and the two factors are real and define each and half branch. If the cusp is rotated, it equation becomes y 3 minus x 2 equals 0. Display style y caret 3 x caret 2 equals 0, and the factorization is y minus x 2 3 y minus j 2 x 2 3 y minus j 2 2 x 2 3. Display style y x carrot two thirds, y j carrot two, x carrot two thirds, y j carrot two, carrot two, x carrot two thirds with j equals one plus minus three two Display style j equals one plus SQRT minus three two the coefficient j 2 2 display style j caret 2 caret 2 has not been simplified to j for showing how the above definition of p i x display style p underscore i x is specialized here the ramification index is 3, and only one factor is real. This shows that, in the first case, the two factors must be considered as defining the same branch. Non-plane algebraic curves An algebraic curve is an algebraic variety of dimension 1. This implies that an affine curve in an affine space of dimension n is defined by, at least, n1 polynomials in n variables. To define a curve, these polynomials must generate a prime ideal of Krull dimension 1. This condition is not easy to test in practice. Therefore, the following way to represent non-plane curves may be preferred. Let f g 
zero G three G N Display style F G underscore zero G underscore three L dots G underscore N Bn polynomials in two variables x1 and x2 such that f is irreducible. The points in the affine space of dimension n such whose coordinates satisfy the equations and inequations f x 1 x 2 equals 0 g 0 x 1 x 2 does not equal 0 x 3 equals g 3 x 1 x 2 g 0 x 1 x 2 x n equals g n x 1 x 2 g 0 x 1 x 2 display style begin aligned and f x underscore 1 x underscore 2 equals 0 and g underscore 0 x underscore 1 x underscore 2 in eq 0 x underscore 3 and equals frac g underscore 3 x underscore 1 x underscore 2 g underscore 0 x underscore 1 x underscore 2 and vdots x underscore Score n and equals frac g underscore n x underscore one x underscore two g underscore zero x underscore one x underscore two end aligned are all the points of an algebraic curve in which a finite number of points have been removed. This curve is defined by a system of generators of the ideal of the polynomials H such that it exists an integer k such g zero k H display style g underscore zero carrot k h belongs to the ideal generated by f x three g zero minus g three x n g zero minus G N Display style F, x underscore three, G underscore zero, G underscore three, L dots, x underscore N, G underscore zero, G underscore N. This representation is a birational equivalence between the curve and the plane curve defined by F. Every algebraic curve may be represented in this way. However, a linear change of variables may be needed in order to make almost always injective the projection on the two first variables. When a change of variables is needed, almost every change is convenient, as soon as it is defined over an infinite field. This representation allows us to deduce easily any property of a non-plane algebraic curve, including its graphical representation, from the corresponding property of its plane projection. For a curve defined by its implicit equations, above representation of the curve may easily deduced from a Grobner basis for a block ordering such that the block of the smaller variables is x1, x2. The polynomial f is the unique polynomial in the base that depends only of x1 and x2. The fractions g i per gram 0 are obtained by choosing, for i. Topic. Three. N, a polynomial in the basis that is linear in Xi and depends only on x1, x2 and Xi. If these choices are not possible, this means either that the equations define an algebraic set that is not of variety, or that the variety is not of dimension 1, or that one must change of coordinates. The latter case occurs when f exists and is unique, and, for i, 3 n there exist polynomials whose leading monomial depends only on x1 x2 and she 3 algebraic function fields 
the study of algebraic curves can be reduced to the study of irreducible algebraic curves, those curves that cannot be written as the union of two smaller curves. Up to birational equivalence, the irreducible curves over a field F are categorically equivalent to algebraic function fields in one variable over F. Such an algebraic function field is a field extension K of F that contains an element X which is transcendental over F, and such that K is a finite algebraic extension of F, X, which is the field of rational functions in the indeterminate X over F. For example, consider the field C of complex numbers, over which we may define the field C X of rational functions in C. If y2 topic x3 minus x minus 1, then the field C X Y is an elliptic function field. The element X is not uniquely determined, the field can also be regarded, for instance, as an extension of C y. The algebraic curve corresponding to the function field is simply the set of points X, y in C2 satisfying Y2. X3 X1 if the field F is not algebraically closed, the point of view of function fields is a little more general than that of considering the locus of points, since we include, for instance, curves with no points on them. For example, if the base field F is the field R of real numbers, then x2 plus y2. Topic. Minus 1 defines an algebraic extension field of R X, but the corresponding curve considered as a subset of R2 has no points. The equation X2 plus Y2 Minus 1 does define an irreducible algebraic curve over R in the scheme sense an integral, separated one-dimensional schemes of finite type over R. In this sense, the one-to-one -one correspondence between irreducible algebraic curves over F up to birational equivalence, and algebraic function fields in one variable over F holds in general. Two curves can be birationally equivalent i.e. have isomorphic function fields without being isomorphic as curves. The situation becomes easier when dealing with nonsingular curves, i.e. those that lack any singularities. Two nonsingular projective curves over a field are isomorphic if and only if their function fields are isomorphic. Zen's theorem is about the function field of an algebraic curve over an algebraically closed field. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Complex curves and real surfaces. A complex projective algebraic curve resides in n-dimensional complex projective space CPN. This has complex dimension n, but topological dimension, as a real manifold, 2n, and is compact, connected, and orientable. An algebraic curve over C likewise has topological dimension 2, in other words, it is a surface. The topological genus of this surface, that is the number of handles or donut holes, is equal to the geometric genus of the algebraic curve that may be computed by algebraic means. In short, if one consider a plane projection of a nonsingular curve that has degree d and only ordinary singularities singularities of multiplicity 2 with distinct tangents, then the genus is d-1, d-2, 2-k, where k is the number of these singularities. Topic. Compact Riemann surfaces A Riemann surface is a connected complex analytic manifold of one complex dimension, which makes it a connected real manifold of two dimensions. It is compact if it is compact as a topological space. There is a triple equivalence of categories between the category of smooth irreducible projective algebraic curves over C with non-constant regular maps as morphisms, the category of compact Riemann surfaces with non-constant holomorphic maps as morphisms, and the opposite of the category of algebraic function fields in one variable over C with field homomorphisms that fix C as morphisms. This means that in studying these three subjects we are in a sense studying one and the same thing. 
It allows complex analytic methods to be used in algebraic geometry, and algebraic geometric methods in complex analysis, and field theoretic methods to be used in both. This is characteristic of a much wider class of problems in algebraic geometry. See also algebraic geometry and analytic geometry for more general theory. Topic: <inaudible> Singularities. Using the intrinsic concept of tangent space, points P on an algebraic curve C are classified as smooth, synonymous, non-singular, or else singular. Given n minus one homogeneous polynomials in n plus one variables, we may find the Jacobian matrix as the n minus one times n plus one matrix of the partial derivatives. If the rank of this matrix is n minus one, then the polynomials define an algebraic curve; otherwise, they define an algebraic variety of higher dimension. If the rank remains n minus one when the Jacobian matrix is evaluated at a point p on the curve, then the point is a smooth or regular point; otherwise, it is a singular point. In particular, if the curve is a plane projective algebraic curve defined by a single homogeneous polynomial equation f x y z equals zero, then the singular points are precisely the points p where the rank of the one times n plus one matrix is zero; that is, where f x p equals f y p equals f z p equals 0 Display style frac partial f partial x p equals frac partial f partial y p equals frac partial f partial z p equals zero. Since f is a polynomial, this definition is purely algebraic and makes no assumption about the nature of the field f, which in particular need not be the real or complex numbers. It should, of course, be recalled that zero 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 is not a point of the curve and hence not a singular point. Similarly, for an affine algebraic curve defined by a single polynomial equation f x y equals zero, then the singular points are precisely the points p of the curve where the rank of the one times n Jacobian matrix is zero. That is, where f p equals f x p equals f y p equals 0 display style f p equals frac partial f partial x p equals frac partial f partial y p equals 0 the singularities of a curve are not birational invariants however locating and classifying the singularities of a curve is one way of computing the genus which is a birational invariant for this to work, we should consider the curve projectively and require f to be algebraically closed, so that all the singularities which belong to the curve are considered. Topic: <laughs> Classification of singularities. Singular points include multiple points where the curve crosses over itself, and also various types of cusp, for example that shown by the curve with equation x3 equals y2 at 0, 0. A curve C has at most a finite number of singular points. If it has none, it can be called smooth or non-singular. Commonly, this definition is understood over an algebraically closed field and for a curve C in a projective space i.e., complete in the sense of algebraic geometry. For example, the plane curve of equation y minus x 3 equals 0 display style y x caret 3 equals 0 is considered as singular, as having a singular point a cusp at infinity. In the remainder of this section, one considers a plane curve C defined as the zero set of a bivariate polynomial f, x, y. 
Some of the results, but not all, may be generalized to nonplane curves. The singular points are classified by means of several invariants. The multiplicity m is defined as the maximum integer such that the derivatives of f to all orders up to m1 vanish also the minimal intersection number between the curve and a straight line at p. Intuitively, a singular point has delta invariant delta if it concentrates delta ordinary double points at p. To make this precise, the blow-up process produces so-called infinitely near points, and summing m, m minus 1, 2 over the infinitely near points, where m is their multiplicity, produces delta. For an irreducible and reduced curve and a point p we can define delta algebraically as the length of o p tilde o p display style y tilde mathcal o underscore p mathcal o underscore p where o p display style mathcal o underscore p is the local ring at p and o p tilde Display style y tilde mathcal o underscore p is its integral closure. The Milner number mu of a singularity is the degree of the mapping grad f x y grad f x y on the small sphere of radius epsilon, in the sense of the topological degree of a continuous mapping, where grad f is the complex gradient vector field of f. It is related to delta and r by the Milner-Young formula. Mu. Topic. 2 delta minus r plus 1. Here, the branching number r of p is the number of locally irreducible branches at p, for example, r. 1 at an ordinary cusp, and r equals 2 at an ordinary double point. Note that m is at least r, and that p is singular if and only if m is at least 2. Moreover, delta is at least m, m1, 2. Computing the delta invariance of all of the singularities allows the genus G of the curve to be determined. If D is the degree, then G equals 1 2 D minus 1 D minus 2 minus P delta P display style g equals frac 1 2 d 1 d 2 sum underscore p delta underscore p, where the sum is taken over all singular points p of the complex projective plane curve. It is called the genus formula. Assign the invariance m delta r to a singularity, where m is the multiplicity, delta is the delta invariant, and r is the branching number. Then an ordinary cusp is a point with invariance 2, 1, 1, and an ordinary double point is a point with invariance 2, 1, 2, and an ordinary m multiple point is a point with invariance m, m, m minus 1, 2, m. Topic: Examples of curves. Topic. Rational curves A rational curve, also called a unicursal curve, is any curve which is birationally equivalent to a line, which we may take to be a projective line. Accordingly, we may identify the function field of the curve with the field of rational functions in one indeterminate f, x. If f is algebraically closed, this is equivalent to a curve of genus zero. However, the field of all real algebraic functions defined on the real algebraic variety x2 plus y2 equals minus 1 is a field of genus zero which is not a rational function field. Concretely, a rational curve embedded in an affine space a dimension n over f can be parameterized except for isolated exceptional points by means of n rational functions of a single parameter t. By reducing these rational functions to the same denominator, the n plus 1 resulting polynomials define a polynomial parametrization of the projective completion of the curve in the projective space. An example is the 
rational normal curve, where all these polynomials are monomials. Any conic section defined over f with a rational point in f is a rational curve. It can be parameterized by drawing a line with slope t through the rational point, and intersection with the plane quadratic curve. This gives a polynomial with f rational coefficients and one f rational root, hence, the other root is f rational, i.e., belongs to f also. For example, consider the ellipse x2 plus xy plus y2. Topic 1, where minus 1, 0 is a rational point. Drawing a line with slope t from minus 1, 0, y. T x plus 1, substituting it in the equation of the ellipse, factoring, and solving for x, we obtain x equals 1 minus t 2 1 plus t plus t 2 Display style x equals frac 1 t caret 2 1 plus t plus t caret 2 Then the equation for y is y equals t x plus 1 equals t t plus 2 1 plus t plus t 2 Display style y equals t x plus one equals frac t t plus two one plus t plus t caret two, which defines a rational parameterization of the ellipse and hence shows the ellipse is a rational curve. All points of the ellipse are given except for minus one one, which corresponds to t equals infinity. The entire curve is parameterized therefore by the real projective line. Such a rational parameterization may be considered in the projective space by equating the first projective coordinates to the numerators of the parameterization and the last one to the common denominator. As the parameter is defined in a projective line, the polynomials in the parameter should be homogenized. For example, the projective parameterization of above ellipse is x equals u. 2 minus t 2 y equals t t plus 2 u z equals t 2 plus t u Plus u two display style x equals u caret two t caret two quad y equals t t plus two u quad z equals t caret two plus t u plus u caret two. Eliminating t and u between these equations, we get again the projective equation of the ellipse x two plus x y plus y 2 equals z 2 display style x caret 2 plus x y plus y caret 2 equals z caret 2 which may be easily obtained directly by homogenizing above equation Many of the curves on Wikipedia's list of curves are rational, and hence have similar rational parameterizations. Elliptic curves An elliptic curve may be defined as any curve of genus 1 with a rational point. A common model is a nonsingular cubic curve, which suffices to model any genus 1 curve. In this model the distinguished point is commonly taken to be an inflection point at infinity, this amounts to requiring that the curve can be written in Tate-Weierstrass form, which in its projective version is y 
two Z plus a one X Y Z plus a three Y Z two equals X three plus a two X two Z plus a four X Z two plus a six Z three Display style y carrot two z plus a underscore one x y z plus a underscore three y z carrot two equals x carrot three plus a underscore two x carrot two z plus a underscore four x z carrot two plus a underscore six z carrot three. If the characteristic of the field is different from two and three, then a linear change of coordinates allows putting a one equals a two equals a three equals zero display style underscore one equals a underscore two equals a underscore three equals zero which gives the classical Weierstrass form Y two equals X Three plus P X plus Q Display style Y carrot two equals X carrot three plus P X plus Q Elliptic curves carry the structure of an abelian group with the distinguished point as the identity of the group law. In a plane cubic model three points sum to zero in the group if and only if they are collinear. For an elliptic curve defined over the complex numbers the group is isomorphic to the additive group of the complex plane modulo the period lattice of the corresponding elliptic functions. The intersection of two quadric surfaces is in general a nonsingular curve of genus 1 and degree 4, and thus an elliptic curve, if it has a rational point. In special cases, the intersection either may be a rational singular quartic, or is decomposed in curves of smaller degrees which are not always distinct either a cubic curve and a line, or two conics, or a conic and two lines, or four lines. Topic. Curves of genus greater than 1 Curves of genus greater than 1 differ markedly from both rational and elliptic curves. Such curves defined over the rational numbers, by Faltings's theorem, can have only a finite number of rational points, and they may be viewed as having a hyperbolic geometry structure. Examples are the hyperelliptic curves, the Klein quartic curve, and the Fermat curve Xn plus Yn. Equals zinc when n is greater than 3. Topic. See also. Equals. 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 Topic. Classical algebraic geometry. Equals. 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 Topic. Modern algebraic geometry equals 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 topic geometry of Riemann surfaces equals 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 notes <laughs>